And the idea is to move from that investigatory docket into a rulemaking. And that rulemaking would then create kind of a framework where we would uh, begin to implement the smart grid. Um, we started off that with a white paper which looks at the policy challenges and here are the you know, kind of balancing acts we've kind of identified. Um, you see there's utility incentives, returns for utilities, access, information access for innovation, DSM, environmental initiatives, efforts, business models, consumer privacy. Those are the policy things that we're weighing as we move into this investigatory docket. Um, we've also realized we have, you know, absolutely no expertise on this particular issue. So within, so with other, in conjunction with other uh, regulation, regulatory commissions, we have applied to the Department of Energy uh, for a large grant to be able to staff ourselves up in the area of smart grid and smart transmission. Um, unfortunately, the way the grants are structured, you actually have to hire people um, and we have a state hiring freeze, even though the money, it would all be paid for by the federal government. Um, so we're seeing if we can actually do the same thing with consultants. And I actually think on some, uh, trying to get something started is probably better to start with consultants and people who have expertise in the field and try to build it up yourself. Um, then uh, uh, all of this, we hope, would lead to a, you know, out of the investigatory doc, we have kind of a blueprint to see where we want to go and then move into a rulemaking uh, within the next year. We also are doing things in our existing dockets. Um, Excel Energy or Public Service of Colorado, which is their Colorado operating company, has a rate case before us, which I can't talk about, that they are asking for recovery for their Boulder Smart Grid. Um, and they're also proposing some rate design elements uh, for the entire system that would start to lend themselves to uh, Smart Grid. So for the residential class, they're looking at inverted block rates for anybody who's technologically enabled, um, starting with the largest users, but working their way down through the other commercial classes, they're proposing uh, you know, a set of rates that start at time of use and lead to kind of real-time pricing and critical peak pricing regimes. Um, Black Hills Electric has uh, a big uh, advanced metering initiative that's just received a federal grant, um, uh, same federal grant that's Fort Collins Utilities uh, we're also uh, got as well. And then the last thing that we've done is we've been very aggressive in the area of demand response. We weren't satisfied with how the utilities demand response programs were. Um, we thought it would be better for everybody to put part of the demand response program out the bid. Uh, a company named Internoc came in and won that bid. So now we have a utility program that will be competing against a non-utility program. Uh, we think that's kind of the way to go. Um, to, you know, not necessarily to pick winners, but to let them compete against each other. So I just want to add that the smart grid for, I think, I personally think smart grid is one of the most important things um, that will enable us to create this uh, new energy economy. Um, and, uh, but there's, you know, there's a lot of challenges right here. Um, I would ask this organization uh, to get involved in helping providing guidance to the Colorado Public Utility Commission. Um, I see Provier Gauthier, he's been uh, helpful with Invest in giving us a lot of advice. But I think this is the kind of issue where uh, this, this association uh, can uh, play a big role uh, because uh, there has been so little groundwork done to date. So with that, I want to thank you for having, uh, having me speak. and. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free. We're pretty accessible, so if anybody ever wants to meet with us, we'd love to meet with individual vendors or people with ideas. Uh, just call up and set up a meeting or send me an email. My contact information is there. Thank you very much. Mr.